Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. This is going to be a tarot forecast for you, but it is not your typical monthly tarot forecast because I did not get those up at the beginning of the month as life was taking me out, okay? But I did want to come in and give you guys a couple little messages before we close out this year. So this is your mid-month reading for December, okay? This is going to be a quick three-card spread looking at the overall energy for you for these last couple of weeks of the year. Um, because we are in Sagittarius season, we're going to be looking at where you need to tap into some of that Sag energy and shoot your arrows, take a leap of faith, take a chance, try something different, okay? And then as I like to put in all of my spreads, your last card is going to be a quick little soul message, something extra for you to take away with you from this spread, okay? Before I get started, I do want to, of course, drop my shameless plugs. Um, we are at the end of the year and we just had our last new moon of the year, which is the Sagittarius new moon, which was also a solar eclipse. I've got a video up on that. I also have, um, a 2020, I'm like, what else is up? I have a 2020, um, reflection pick a card reading going up probably next week sometime. And the talk of the town <laughs> is the great conjunction. So I do have a video up with some information on that as well okay guys and as this is a tarot spread and we are wrapping up the year and coming into a new one i am offering a 2021 new year reading i'm actually offering two versions of it i've got one um and then i've got another one that is uh extended that is a little bit more money because you gotta have something for everybody so let's go on and get into it this reading is for the Cancers, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. So before I get started with our messages, if you feel like what I'm saying is not resonating with you, go on and check out your Moon and or Rising sign, which I do have linked down below in the description box. All right, Cancer, let's get right to it. The first card that we've got coming up in the spread is in the position of the overall energy for the last couple weeks of the year. And we've got, we've got, I, I like this card because it, it, <laughs> It gives me a gentle energy and I like that we have this gentle energy wrapping up 2020 because let's face it 2020 was a whole ass hell year and it was crazy it was hectic and it was heavy okay it was heavy we've got Libra in the position of the overall energy for us for the last couple weeks of the year so the first thing that I get with this card here cancer is that we need to tip the scales in the last couple weeks of the year, we need to tip these scales. Um, and I, I say that in the sense of I was just talking about that heaviness that we've been feeling during the year of 2020, um, especially being the empaths that we are cancer when all of this stuff has been going down, all of these people losing people, all this sadness, all this anxiety, all this grief. We, we pick that up and we harness it ourselves and we internalize it and then we start to experience it, okay? So y'all ain't even got to tell me your secrets as a cancer sun and a cancer moon i'm already knowing i'm already knowing you have been carrying around all of the and not only your energy your dense heavy energy everybody else's that you're around people that you just come into contact with because that is so cancer that is what we do right so the first message with this card first things first to round out 2020 to wrap up hell year 2020 we need to realign our energy. Libra is the sign of balance. Libra is the sign of the scales, okay? And we need to tip them. They're already tipped. They're tipped to one side right now. It's a little heavy, okay? We need to tip them back to where we bring ourselves back into balance, back into alignment, okay? Um, with that being said, I also pick up on there is this, there is a need for release. Um, I know the last reading that I did for cancer, I talked about a spiritual cleansing or a spiritual healing, something of the sort. I talked about release. I do sense that a lot of us may have fallen by the wayside on that. We got two weeks left of 2020, so let's wrap it up. Um, with that being said, our full moon is at the end of the month. We actually end the year with our full moon. So why not, why not get back to it, get back on track and continue forward with whatever cleansing, whatever 
healing whatever release you were already starting to work on back in november and bring that back around this way look like i said you ain't gonna tell me your secrets i already know bring that back around this way pick it back it up and pick it pick it pick it back it up back it up and dump it back back it up and dump it literally back it up and dump it okay get rid of that shit dump it okay release it tip your scales bring yourself back into balance bring yourself back into alignment for the last couple weeks of the year okay um also i do want to talk about the numerology with this card we've got 19 for libra here in this deck and one plus nine equals 10 which is one amplified by zero cancer we're wrapping up the year we're also hitting our half year half year point okay so with that being said this is literally we're in the energy of okay it is time to wrap shit up it's time to let some things go so that we can come into a new so that we can come into this new chapter come into this new energy come into that one amplified by zero um we are having an eclipse right now well not right now a couple days prior to when these videos are going to be going up um we're having an eclipse which is the energy of major change and major transformation and, all, and although we did finish up our eclipse access earlier this year we're still on the tail end of it so we get to catch a little bit of the major energy that's happening with the Sagittarius solar eclipse as well although it's not our sign because we're at the tail end of our last six months from our last eclipse on that eclipse axis we we're, we're grouped in a little bit with these with these Sagittarians and Gemini's okay so with that being said harness that energy harness the positive energy to bring yourself back into balance clear out some of that density clear out some of that stagnancy clear out some of the heaviness and if you can clear all of it out there's no need to to carry the baggage into 2021 especially when it's not yours cancer you little empaths the next card that we have coming up in our spread is in the position of where we need to tap into some of the sagittarius solar eclipse uh energy um and shoot our arrows what actions do we need to be taking to round out this year in the last couple weeks of december and we've got a water card here we're here in our element we need to shoot our arrow into our element i like how that sounds um, we've got the three of water the three of cups this is a very positive card a very positive energy so listen we got gentle and loving and we've got positive <laughs> i like it we need it okay um the three of water in this particular deck the way that i read it with this dreams of gaia deck it, it's a card of anticipation positive anticipation so with that being said cancer i think it is time for us to really focus on what it is that we want and now you guys are probably watching this video like, no, I've been, listen, I've been manifesting this whole time. But cancer, in our true nature, what do we do when we manifest? We worry. What happens when you put worry and doubt and fear on your thoughts and your intentions and your words? They have the power to manifest in the physical. So you may think that you've been out here manifesting up a storm, but the reality of it is cancer because of our, <laughs> our tendency, <laughs> our, our tendencies, you, you probably have a little bit of worrisome energy attached to, you know, oh, I, I want to see this play out for myself, right? That you have this desire, but along with the desire you have, I want to see this play out for myself, but I don't know if I have enough money. I don't know if I have enough time. I don't know if COVID is going to be over. I don't know. I just don't know. I listen, but I want it to happen. And so what happens is it doesn't happen because you, you just sprinkled the whole rack of worry and doubt and fear and all the things that we don't need in our manifestations and our intentions. This is positive manifestation. The three of water is positive manifestation. Anticipation for a positive future that we have manifested, okay? So why it is so important for you to bring yourself into alignment is when you carry around dense and negative energies, there's just no way for you to shoot yourself into a, a positive place. I mean, maybe I shouldn't word it like that. No way for you to put yourself into a, a positive place. Okay, you might think that you're on that path and you may very well still be on that path, but by way of carrying around all that dense negative energy, all that baggage, what ends up happening is that you come up on roadblocks. You end up having to go a little bit slower. You get tired. You feel like you left something behind because you got so much shit in your bags. Now you feel like you need extra shit for the shit in your bags that you don't even need in the bags in the first place. So where you need to shoot your arrows during this month, well, not this month, during the last 14 days of this month, Cancer, is towards shifting your perspective into a more positive light, okay? 
start thinking about the things that you really want to see play out. All those dreams and desires and goals that you have, that you have been worried about, that you've been stressed about not playing out for you the way that you want them to. Now is not the time to think about that. Now is the time to just think about the fact that they're a possibility. You ain't even got to do much, Cancer. You just really have to think this is anticipation, manifestation. We literally, we get to keep it cute at the end of the year for the most part. We ain't got to, listen, I've done a bunch of readings already. I've done eight so far. And, and some of these signs got work to do. Us, with these cards, we get to keep it cute. And we just get to think and manifest and intend and write and intend. Like, you know, we, we manifestation, positive intention in regards to the things that you want to see play out for yourself. You've got to shift the way that you're thinking about these things because if you don't, they're just never going to play out for you. And, and they might, but they won't play out in the way for you that they're supposed to or in the way that you would like to see them play out, okay? So start thinking about your dreams and your goals and your desires in, in a more positive, in a more poppin' light, you know? And it's easier said than done, but you can train yourself to, to, to do so. Um, take it from somebody that has. Um, it's like affirmations. You literally just have to keep repeating things to yourself over and over and over, writing the things down over and over and over and over until you start to believe it. It's like learning a new, uh, not believe, with what I said. I was about to compare it to learning a new language. But it's like learning a new language. You know, you keep practicing it until you got it and until you're fluent in it and then until you sound like a native. So Cancer, keep putting positive energy on your thoughts and your intentions until you get good at it to where it doesn't feel like a task and then to where it becomes a, a natural thing to where you just think about things positively off that. Last card that we've got coming up in our spread, Cancer, is the Two of Air. This is Typically when I read in the tarot, I consider this a stalemate card and I do, I, I have two messages for this particular position. This is in the position of your soul message, okay? For the, re for the rest of the year, all 14 days. Um, very quick message, Cancer. I was talking about bringing yourself into alignment so that you can manifest the things that you'd like to see play out for yourself. Depending on how quickly you do this work or how you work with your energy, um, it is highly possible that some sort of opportunity may come in for you um that you you need to go on and take and you had a flyer come out which i'm going to talk about this in, the, in a second but you had a flyer come out when i was shuffling and if for any reason the opportunity that is presented to you has to do with creativity or art or anything fifth house related like fun take the opportunity okay now to delve into the message with this card the soul message here um, with the Dreams of Gaia deck, this is a card that carries the energy of certain pillars being broken down to clear out space so that you can bring new things in. And it is also a card of making decisions. I, I do pick up on the sense that Cancer, you know, I was talking about feeling kind of weighed down and then also coming into this space to where we need to shoot our arrows towards our heart's desires. So I do get the sense that some of us Cancers are in positions that we're doing things we don't really want to do, whether that be in your career, your family life, your friendships, or just in your, your every day to every day, <laughs> every day to day waking life. That was a lot. That was, that was like a triple cheeseburger um, in your day to day life. Um, with that being said, this card popping up here, especially with you tipping the scales and you, you positively manifesting and anticipating what it is you actually want to see come in, I do get the sense that you will be able to, once you clear out that dense energy, you'll actually be able to bring this stuff in. Um, with that being said, you've got the fifth house card that flew out. And this is a 29 card, which breaks down to 11, which is my number, y'all. A master number, 11 energy, highly vibrational number, enlightenment and healing. And it is also a card of creativity, um, healing and enlightenment through through the arts. Um, if we want to get even more into detail when it comes to the number 11, and 11 breaks down to two. So that's, that's, that's major right there. Your soul message is, is important in this spread. And I, the best, I'm, I'm getting like a, a few different messages here and I'm trying to figure out which one I wanna say first. Um, for you cancers that are in a career that you are not necessarily excited about, there may be some sort of opportunity come, coming up for you or some sort of work that you can do within your career that will not necessarily land you a position in that career that is related to creativity or the things that you like doing but by doing whatever that is you will somehow open up doors in other places for this fifth house energy um for those of you that 
are trying to decide between some sort of decision, some sort of major decision in these next couple of weeks of the year, even if it's not career related cancer, um, with the creativity with the fifth house card here, I'm also going to throw in intuition because we got water here. Okay. Go with what and justice, go with what feels right. Go with what feels fun, what feels good. Okay. Um, and if that's not the right decision, we could worry about that later. Um, it is time to indulge at the end of this year and not necessarily on the physical plane, but it is time to indulge on a spiritual level. And in regards to our heart chakras and our solar plexuses, okay? What is it that you want? What is it that you need, Cancer? What is it that you like doing? What is it that you love? Who, 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 who do you love? Um, what kind of life do you want to be living? Take these next couple of weeks to think about that. Take these next couple of weeks to clear out whatever dense energy is holding you back from shooting your arrow into whatever you are anticipating with this three of water, okay? Break down them pillars that are, are rooted in density and stagnancy and in heaviness from 2020. Clear that energy out and come into this popping ass fifth house energy at the start of the year. Although this is an 11 card, talking about the fifth house and we're going into a five universal year, but I'll give y'all the tea on that in a few weeks. That's your spread, Cancer. That was that was an interesting one. I'm I'm a little curious now to know what opportunities is coming in for me. <laughs> like, what is the next two weeks about to look like? But that is your spread. I hope that it found you well. This is the last tarot reading of the year for Sunshine Haze Co. As far as all of the signs go. I will put out another pick a card reflection spread in about a week or so, but um, this is it for the the individual sign readings, okay? If you want your own reading, rewind on back to my shameless plugs at the beginning and book one with me through my Etsy shop, link down below. Support a black owned business called Sunshine Haze Co. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I truly do appreciate you guys tuning in and rocking with me for a whole nother year. And I appreciate those of you that joined me this year. Um, Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time, your views, your subscribes, your likes, all of the things. I am this close to being monetized. Like I, I am actually very, very close to being monetized. So um, cancers, help out your girl because I am one of you. I'm one of you in a sun and a moon. Share my links so that people can watch my videos so that I can start to get paid for giving y'all free readings. And y'all won't actually have to pay me. <laughs> okay but yes i went on a tangent thank you guys for tuning in thanks for rocking with me this year um 2020 was wild so i am sending out hella dope fun positive abundant and peaceful vibes vibrations to all of us for the start of the new year because we do need it one time for the one time thank you again i will catch y'all next time happy new year peace